we're going to look at how to scale an application on AWS using Docker Swarm. So we'll log into the EC2 console, create an Ubuntu 16 image, upgrade it with Docker in an automated fashion, connect our Swarm together and scale an application across 16 nodes. We'll then do an automated cleanup of that. The use case is cloud mining. People rent out their hardware to calculate hashes. It's very CPU intensive. And by having more nodes, we can calculate more hashes. So let's get started. Log into your AWS console and follow the guide. So log into your console and we need to look at community AMIs into and then we're looking for 16.4 virtualization type HMV HVM pick T2 micro or a bigger instance if you want more processing power then when we configure this node we're going to pick one instance because it's a manager but the important bit here is in the advanced details, we can run a provisioning script. This will install Docker, and I have it over here on a gist. So the first part of the script will rename the node to have my name in, in the uh, host name. Then go ahead and run in a bunch of steps to install Docker. And the last step is to join a swarm, but in this instance, we're going to create one instead. Then when we create our nodes after this, we will change the init script to include the join. The default hard drive is fine. We could add a uh, name here if we want. Mine. And in terms of the security group, for the time being, I'm using a group that's just allowing everything. Then we can go ahead and launch the group. Make sure that you've got a key pair because we'll use that to log in with SSH later. Now we will see that node starting up. And as soon as it has an IP address, we can connect to it and create a swarm. So that installs Docker and does a bunch of other stuff. What we can do now though is log in. So I already have my private and public key on my, my own machine. So what I'm going to do is put alexswarm.pem. So this will make SSH use that specific identity that we downloaded that key pair. Then the username by default is Ubuntu and that's the IP address. Once we've logged in, if Docker is installed already, we should be able to run a command like this. It's saying cannot find command. So what we'll do is just hang on, and as soon as the initialization is completed, I want to type in docker swarm init. At this point in time, I've been given a swarm token and an IP address connect to connect to. This is what we need to put at the end of the init scripts of our workers. So I'm now going to launch, let's say, uh, 10 instances. Again, we want 16.4. And we could actually go for, let's go a bit higher. This is the important step, the advanced details. We need to go ahead and add our provisioning script. And don't miss out bin sh. So my previous piece of code was here which had the token in, we've now got a different token for different swarm. And we just want to check that that's correctly written. It looks good to me. So, 
onto the storage. Eight gig of RAM again. Minor worker. We'll have open security group again. This is just temporary. And again, if we do need to connect to the the node manually, we can use a key for that. Once Docker Swarm has been once Docker has been installed, the swarm will connect the node to do work for us, and we shouldn't need to log in interactively with SSH. Okay, so these instances will take a little while to come up. Once they're there, we'll be able to do Docker node ls and maybe we can put a watch statement on this as gradually all the other 15 nodes come up. And another way to just double check is to do a quick pipe. So we've now got a bunch of machines ready to go. Let's figure out the command. So I've got a gist here which will create a Docker service. And that is a really neat way of orchestrating a load onto all of the computers. Let's find the gist. So I posted this on Twitter last night and someone's already tried it with some huge Amazon instances. This is what I I would suggest using. Let's create our service. Uh, we've got 10 replicas and we can just scale that now. we know we've got 16 machines and the way to tell whether this is working docker ps will show a working container on this manager because I've scaled to 16 that's how many nodes we have but also if we do a docker service ls we will see that mine service and then docker service ps will tell us the status of each um, item as it starts to run. So at the moment I can see that each node has been registered here and they are actually downloading the image. It's a few hundred megabytes so that will take a couple of minutes on AWS. Once that's down they will start to run Docker service ls. We've currently got 13 of the replicas running and if we look on our local computer, which is, happens to be the manager, we can see there's already a instance running here. Check out the logs, and we can see that it's currently running at around 2.3 solutions per second across four cores. Now, this instance doesn't have four cores, so we might want to tune the parameters on the entry point here down to the one that it does have. Going back to the gist, if we look at my NiceHash site, we will see my EquiHash rate has a whole bunch of workers added. Now, three or four of these are currently running in my house. These are the ones with the larger numbers. But the ones with the smaller numbers are all of the cloud nodes that are currently warming up. And so we'd expect to see at least 16 in here from Amazon EC2. So there you go. I've now got a equi hash rate of 62 per second. This site will give you an idea of whether you can be profitable with this. 
offsetting the costs of running your cloud VMs with the cost of um, the Bitcoins that you might receive. So what we're actually doing here is renting out our computing power to a pool. And that pool will take in um, some EquiHash work. And once it's processed it, you get a share of the profits. This isn't a get rich quick scheme, more of a, um, an interesting idea, uh, proving out technology. So have a go with this. Let me know what you find. Um, and if you don't want to rebuild your own image, you can go over to this page and um, it will give you it will give me a few um, fractions of a cent if you run the image that I've built. 16 um, Amazon EC2 instances mining bit mining coins for us. Um, we can see the 16 replicas at any point in time you can scale that down so even to zero and let them recover. Um, or if you added more machines into um, e your EC2 cluster, you could then scale this up to whatever number it happens to be, maybe up to 100. Now, in terms of cleaning everything up, um, because you might not want to leave this running the whole time, go back to your console, click this button, hit Actions, Instance State, and then Terminate. And that will completely remove the swarm and all traces of these um, instances. Just make sure that you don't have any of your um, sites here that you that you need. Maybe you could use a, a tag in there instead. So thanks very much for listening. Follow me on Twitter and over on my blog. If you have any questions, please get in touch. It'd be great to hear from you.